whether you want to red share it or not. Have you made that decision? Yes, I've made that decision today. And I explained it to the coach how I felt about it, and it's been made. You know, I am going to red shirt this year. And uh, I think it's beneficial for me, you know. Now, is this because there's so much talent on this year's UC decision? Well, to be honest, I don't have any bitterness. I think it was a decision that had to be made, you know, and I made it. It's not, I'm really happy that I made the decision. I had enough, I was man enough to make the decision, really. You know. But you're looking forward now to a UCLA career and one that includes you and all of your abilities. Yes, definitely, definitely. We'll be watching you. Good luck to you. And uh, I'm sorry that the decision wasn't that you're out there on that basketball floor, but uh, we'll be looking forward to seeing you play. Thanks a lot, Tom. All right. Larry, your impression of the UCLA team this year after the first game? Um, <clears throat> well, I think we're um, a lot better, a lot stronger, quicker than last year's team. Were you impressed with your start? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> no, you seem very happy. I saw some basketball greatness out there. I saw a lot of things. I saw teamwork. I saw defensive abilities. You seem to have it all again. Well, all I can say is that um, we're out there. Everybody's working to do the best they can. So if it comes off like that, then we're happy about it. When you have as much talent as you do, it's very difficult not to be enthusiastic about it. And I can see that you're sort of holding yourself back. But do you see, as you look around, anyone who might be able to measure up to UCLA this year? <laughs> wow, well, I, I really don't like go out and scout the opposition. I'm not. Good. Okay. Bill, I was a little worried about you tonight when you went into that backboard. It was a heck of a defensive play. It was great hustle. Did you hurt yourself? Well, I just got a little banged up, you know. I, I just play hard and hope for the best so I don't get hurt. Don't... Okay. Bill, I was that you had last year, especially for each other. Well, we all like each other, and uh, like we know what we have to do to win games, and uh, we try to do it. As a team, are you doing anything differently this year than you did last I don't know. We've only played one game, and uh, I'll, I'll be able to answer that question better after a few more games. You know, like tonight, you can't really form any opinions because the first game is always really hard because you have new players, and, uh, and you're always doing new things, and it's hard to... Uh... Coach John Wooden, every year a head coach looks forward to that first game so that he can see what he actually has in team material. What, we still aren't sure about that control man on the offense to replace Henry Bibby. Uh, no, uh, not at this particular time. Uh, uh, I think uh, uh, Larry Hollifield and Pete Turgovich uh, are both uh, capable of uh, uh, helping us in, in different ways. And I think that maybe I can use both of them in this particular case advantageously for a while until one of them finally asserts himself. Uh, I'm going to start to continue starting Larry uh, on the basis of the play this evening, but uh, uh, I definitely can use uh, Pete too. And then at the point uh, where Lee played for us all last year, uh, due to his illness and, and uh, uh, the injury that he had, the pull muscle, uh, Tommy Curtis got out ahead of him. And I think Tommy uh, showed the pressure a little bit tonight of trying to hold the starting position. It's a little different now. He knows that he has it, but it's his to hold against a man that had it all last year. And I thought, uh, well, Tommy actually did not play as well tonight as he's been playing right along. No, Coach. You have a player who will possibly redshirt this coming season in Andre McCarter. What is that situation? Well, Andre uh, talked to me today about it. He hadn't uh, had a chance to talk to me earlier, I guess, and he'd been thinking about it. And he thought uh, perhaps with uh, Lee and uh, Curtis there that he might not see much playing time for some time. And he came in and talked to me about the possibility of redshirting. So I decided that we'll, ma we'll make a decision uh, next week for sure, but didn't want to take any chance of playing him tonight because if we played him tonight, then it would be too, uh, too late. You have four returning starters, but have you made any changes at all in your offensive patterns? Uh, we've made some changes. We're uh, uh, doing a few things uh, different on our uh, 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 high, low post than we did last year, and we've made some changes in our zone attack, which, of course, we didn't see tonight because of the fact that uh, uh, they used the man-to-man. -man. Coach, thank you very much, and have a good year. Thank you, Tommy. Sure hope so.